Good afternoon, everyone. Diane. Diane, all your life you have challenged everyone to do our best. Now, we, as we honor your leadership to celebrate your life and express our sorrow in your passing, living up to your standard is quite a challenge. However, we started with the President of the United States uh, having his plane carry you home. He loved you so much, he said, my only wish is that I could have been on the plane taking her home. Draped in the American flag, your beautiful landing in the arms of the first responders, lifting you up, Catherine, Rick, and Eileen on Saturday. Over the weekend, your beloved 49ers and our great San Francisco Giants paid tribute to you at their games. Yesterday, Mayor Breed received you triumphantly back at City Hall, where you would lie in state and we'd be welcomed home by the people of San Francisco with music and song. Thousands of people came to pay their respects and lined the blocks all day long and into the night so that the family had to extend the time for people to pay their respects. And this week, it was announced that the Blue Angels, <laughs> the Fleet Week would be dedicated to you. Fleet Week would be down to you. And, the, and now listen to this. The Blue Angels will be pilot a missing woman formation honoring Diane Feinstein. She flew with them, imagine. Choirs singing, people crying, teams cheering, ships sailing, blue angels flying, all honoring Diane, a woman so strategic and so strong, a lady so gentle, a trailblazing model, and a mentor of generosity and sweetness. Here they come again. While they're coming, let's recognize the members of Congress who are here, the House and the Senate. Please stand so that we can recognize you all. So many. <laughs> Thank you. You know, from the most vulnerable in our midst to the most powerful persons in the world, Diane re regarded everyone with respect. Thank you, Kathleen, excuse me. Thank you, Catherine, Rick, and Eileen for sharing Diane with us. We all smile when thinking of Diane going to her first civic engagement with Catherine in a stroller. And then, years later, you're, it's what Diane wants, that's what we get. <laughs> and years later, with Eileen, whom Diane called Noodle, in her arms. Catherine in the strodel, Noodle in her arms. Blue angels in the sky. Diane drew strength from you, Catherine, Noodle, and Rick. And we all drew strength from her. I hope it is a comfort to you that so many people mourn your loss and are praying for you at this sad time. Diane, um, they asked me to talk personally about Diane. We being neighbors as well as political, uh, shall we say, um, in the same arena. Diane loved cultivating people and flowers. She cultivated relationships, bringing people together, officially, personally, and romantically. You know that Diane was a matchmaker. Now, some of you know that. You are here, Jerry Brown and Anne, uh, Charlotte Schultz and George. You know, the list goes on and on. Last week, my daughter Nancy, Nancy was toasting Diane, and she said, thank you, Diane, for allowing us to be present in your happy place. Diane considered it a happy place where she challenged us all. This was at the beginning of last week. Little did we know what the week would hold. Diane cultivated people. She was loyal to hundreds of commissioners, appointees, and staff, many of whom are here today. Let's hear it from you, all of you. I have a t-shirt 
that I want to show you, and it says, and many of you have worn this, I survived Diane's staff meetings. <laughs> and Diane cultivated flowers. She loved flowers, to grow them, to show them, to paint them and share them on drawings and on mugs. Anybody here have a mug, a Diane mug? And neighbor, as neighbors, Paul and I always knew, because we could see from our window, that Diane had the most fabulous hydrangeas. As neighbors and friends, Diane and I took pride in working together for California and for our values. I'll always remember this one time in 2015 in the United States Capitol, Diane and I expressed our concern to President Xi about the Chinese government's abuses of the Tibetans and disrespect for His Holiness the Dalai Lama. When Diane spoke, people listened. People have asked me, what is the best advice I ever received from Diane? Well, there's money. We all have gotten great advice from Diane. But the most constant advice I ever got from her again and again was, Nancy, you don't always have to be the one going out on the attack. Let some other people do that from time to time. Why don't you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Madam Vice President, thank you so much for honoring us with your presence today in honoring Diane, your good friend, and again, official associate. It's an honor that you are here. Leader Schumer, you have spoken so beautifully about Diane, our Senator's accomplishments. Thank you. Thank you for your beautiful remarks the morning of her passing and all that you have done since then to honor her memory. And she has a lasting legacy. From the cable cars, the breast cancer stamp, to the assault weapons ban, to Team Tahoe, any Team Tahoe's here? Team Tahoe, the list goes on and on, from the US Capitol back to San Francisco, where Dianne Feinstein is our forever mayor, forever mayor. Dianne was such a commanding mayor for 10 powerful years that when her term was up and some other people started to run for mayor, including some men, school children were saying, can a man be mayor of San Francisco? <laughs> I guess. Diane left, <laughs> Madam Mayor, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Diane left us as she had lived. She left on her own terms. She was proud to confirm more than 140 Biden judges. And, she, and, and Chuck can attest that she walked onto that floor last Thursday, which would be her last day. And so she walked onto the floor and voted to advance legislation to keep government open for the people. This is just the beginning, all weekend. She, it's Fleet Week dedicated to Diane. Flyovers all weekend. She would like it like that. The president began his beautiful tribute earlier in the program with a poem by Emerson. I will end with a song suggested by Nancy Curran, my daughter who loved Diane so much, American Anthem. Doesn't this sound like Diane? Let them say of me, I believed in sharing the blessings I received. Let me know in my heart when my days are through, America, America, I did my best for you. <laughs> Diane Feinstein. <laughs> Diane, we know you did your best for America. May you rest in peace. Thank you.